Uh, good morning, everyone. You know, one of the questions that kids ask that are one of the most annoying questions is kids are known to always ask why. You tell them something and they say, but why? But why? And many times parents get annoyed and they say to their kids, stop asking why. Or why? Because I told you so. But why is it that kids naturally always ask the question why? And, and in a way we stifle them by, t- by telling them not to ask the question why. And as children grow older, they start to become mechanical and robotic without thinking about the most important question, which is why. In life, there is a number of questions we tend to ask ourselves. The first question is, when we have a task, is what? What is the task? Then how? How am I going to go about accomplishing the task? Then we ask ourselves, when am I going to do it? Am I going to do it now? Am I going to do it tomorrow? And then we may ask ourselves, where am I going to do it? But the, how am I going to do it? But the most important question, perhaps, and the question that kids always start with when you tell them to do something is, they don't say, how should I do it? When should I do it? Where should I do it? They say, why? They want to understand why. Because the truth is, why is what fuels everything in life. If you have a why, you could accomplish any how. So, in this week's parsha, Hashem comes to Moshe and tells him what he wants him to do. He wants to take the Jews out of Egypt. So he tells them, what do I want you to do? I want you to go take the Jews out of Egypt because I see they're suffering. And then he tells them, you know, how are you going to do it? I'm going to send you as my messenger. You're going to have signs and miracles to demonstrate that you're my messenger. That's the how. And, and what are you going to, you know, oh, where? So he says, I'm going to take them from Egypt. I'm going to bring them to the land of Israel. But then he answers the ultimate question. And that is why. Why am I taking the Jews out of Egypt? And he says, because Tabdun Esalokim Alaharazet. They're going to serve me on this mountain. Meaning, I, there's a reason, there's a purpose for taking them out of Egypt. Because I want them to become my nation and give them the Torah here at Mount Sinai. Why was it important for Moshe to know this at the burning bush? Because in order for a leader to inspire people, they have to be able to have a reason why they're doing it. There's a difference between leaders and people who lead. Leaders are people who have power. People who lead have to inspire people. How do you inspire people to go somewhere to do something? When you give them a reason why, when you explain to them a vision, a dream, a concept that they want on their own and you inspire them to want to follow you. But here's the interesting point. In Hebrew, there's two ways to say why. You could say why madua, madua means why, and you could say lama, why. What's the difference between madua and lama? Madua starts with a mem, and the letter mem in Hebrew always means from where. Lama, it always means lit, to. There's two ways to ask the question why. You could ask madua, why? I want to understand the reason behind it. We don't always have the reasons. You know, why, why does God put us in this world with all the challenges? Why couldn't the world be an easier place with no tsaris, no illness? No, we don't always know why. We can't always understand the theological explanations why. But we could always answer limma, to what purpose, to what goal? What are we meant to do? Where are we supposed to go? What is the, the end goal in mind? You know, next week's New Year's, and a lot of people make New Year's resolutions. And a lot of the times the New Year's resolutions don't last. And perhaps people have good plans, but the best plans, if you don't have a why, why you're doing it. So for example, someone says, this year, I want to be more successful in business. That's my goal. How am I going to do it? I'm going to get up earlier and stay in the office later. And I'm going to make more money. But the question is, why why are you doing this? Because I want to make more money. But that's not a real reason why. Making money is a result. Why do you want to do what you're doing? You have to have a reason why you... You have to be inspired by what it is you're doing. Then you'll make money as a side product of your hard work. But if you don't have a meaningful reason why you're doing what you're doing, and I think we go through life, we just do things without thinking. And if we just stop for a moment and say, why am I doing what I'm doing? And you think about the end goal result, you'll have much more uh, fuel and much more inspiration and power in your achievements and be much more successful long term. Just to conclude with a story, they tell a true story about a guy who was in, in the gulags in Russia who was sentenced to a 10-year sentence of hard labor in, the, in Russia. And every day his job was uh, to go to this wall and turn this big wheel. You know, 10 hours a day, just turn this wheel. 
and he didn't know what the wheel was connected to. So could you imagine 10 hours a day for 10 years turning this wheel? He was thinking maybe there's a, a mill and I'm grinding wheat that's producing uh, flour for bread. Maybe it's, um, I'm churning cement for construction. He said after 10 years he was released. And the first thing he did was when he got out of prison, he ran around to the other side of the wall to see what this wheel was tur- connected to. When he came to the other side, he saw that the wheel wasn't connected to anything. They were just giving him a meaningless task to keep him busy 10 hours a day. And he said, seeing that wheel not connected to any productive purpose or goal was the most crushing feeling, in a way worse than the 10 years of hard labor. Human beings could endure a lot of struggle, a lot of hardship, a lot of hard work, as long as they know there's a lemma, to what end, to what purpose. And it's true on our lives on a whole. If we don't know the meaning and the purpose of our existence, we can't get through the challenges of life. If we know our purpose, why Hashem put us here, what He wants us to accomplish, and we have a meaning and a reason why we're doing what we're doing, then we find phenomenal strength to achieve all of our goals.